Hello everyone, Kane Hadley here. Today we'll be looking at a project done in Second Life for the class Programming for Artificial Intelligence and Cognitive Science. The idea behind the assignment is that we have a little white mouse that can get ar go around this field and bite into the different pieces of fruit littered on the ground. Each piece of fruit gives off a different taste and we want to predict what the taste will be like depending on what the fruit looks like. The way our mouse observes each fruit is by a list of 14 numbers between 0 and 1,000, and the fruit's taste is given by a list of 5 zeros and 1s. To accomplish this task, we will be using a tool called a cojonen or a self-organizing map. The Cajonan map is a neural network classifier that tries to make better predictions by altering itself. Each time a piece of fruit is bitten into, the best matching node is looked up in the map. By finding the node with the smallest Manhattan distance between its randomly initialized list and the fruit's appearance. Based on the node's suggestion, a prediction is made and compared with the fruit's act taste. If our guess is wrong, then the map corrects the taste of what it should have reported and modifies its list to be closer to the fruit's actual appearance, ensuring that this node will be chosen again if we happen upon the same piece of fruit. This process of constant evaluation and updating over time will allow us to make better and better guesses in the future. Another benefit of a Cajonan map is that it allows us to more easily visualize a high dimensional input, in this case 14, as a low dimensional graph that's easier to comprehend in this case an XY coordinate grid. Using this picture we are able to see how diverse the different types of things are that we might see are and how close different outputs are to each other to indicate the ease with which we might be confused. In this case none of the two inputs actually blur together so our concept of a world is pretty well defined but the, but there have been times where, depending on the map, that two, maybe three, or even four inputs could all be arranged close to each other and generally be relatively related. I encourage anyone who is interested in this presentation to look into self-organizing maps since they are easy to implement and a very powerful, powerful tool. Thank you all for your time and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.